What's up guys? I want to review the Xiaomi M365 electric scooter after a thousand kilometers of use. I've been riding it just under four months right now, going to and from work, a six kilometer round trip, four days a week. I've also been taking it out uh, late at night for some joy rides and sometimes during the day if I have time. And those trips usually last about uh, anywhere from 15 to 20-ish kilometers. So I'll start off with some of the bad things that's happened in the past four months. I've had three flat tires. Luckily, all of them have been the rear tire. Uh, and I was able to successfully patch all of them without any uh, problems thereon after. Two of them were uh, staples and one of them was a uh, two inch brad nail. I've had two battery issues. Uh, both times were related to broken uh, battery terminal contacts, uh, but both times I was able to successfully uh, solder the joints back together without any problems afterwards. I also had a problem with the uh, rear brake light LED. Uh, the wiring was rubbing against the rear tire. Uh, every time you go off a bump, the rear mud flap would flap up and down. Uh, but that was easily fixed by uh, printing off a, a piece of plastic and then bolting that plastic over top of the wiring to protect it. And it kept it out of the way of the tire. Uh, the other issue was the uh, excessive play in the f uh, steering stem. And that was also uh, repaired by printing off, 3D printing off a uh, shim that was found on Thingiverse. And that was able to fix the problem. One last problem I had was with the rear fender, the uh, three mounting holes that uh, secure the fender to the uh, main chassis, the, they broke off. Um, so what I did was I found some uh, three longer M4 uh, screws with washers and I secured it uh, with these longer bolts. And that seems to be holding well, it doesn't look pretty but it does work. There is the other, uh, also another option to repair that is to 3D print your own. Uh, there are two different styles available on Thingiverse. Uh, one is a short fender, which I've tried but doesn't help with any rain. Uh, and the other one uh, is a pretty much a replica of the original. Um, but I did not try that out yet. So if you ride a, uh, a lot at night, like I do, um, especially when I come home from work, it's pretty much pitch black dark outside. Uh, I figured the uh, stock LED light on the scooter is not adequate. So then I purchased a, uh, a Cree XML T6 LED headlight for a bicycle that uses a USB for power and a uh, special lens that uh, changes the beam of that LED uh, to more of a rectangular beam and um, it makes it wider. Uh, and I find that uh, really helps the lighting situation at night. So this is the Xiaomi light. It's pretty measly, you can't really see much in this trail. I'm going to turn that off. And I'll turn on this XML T6 USB powered light with a special lens. You can see that's nice and bright. And I have also have a uh, a, a blinky rear LED red light. Uh, I attached that to my backpack uh, high up near my neck so that people can see me from behind. It's, I feel it's much safer this way. The only other accessory I added was the uh, GUB G85 uh, phone holder. It's a little uh, all aluminum C-clamp style phone holder. Uh, it's super secure. I've tried other ones and all those other ones ha all had my phone falling off every time I uh, jump off a curb or something like that. So that's one phone holder I highly recommend and it's also really low profile. It looks really clean. So even after a uh, thousand kilometers of riding, um, the performance of the scooter itself has not diminished at all in my opinion. Um, even the range has been really good. It's still, I'm still able to consistently hit over 20 kilometers off a full charge. Um, although at now that it's getting colder now, um, I'm meeting more of the lower like 
21 kilometers, 20 kilometers uh, for full charge. Uh, that's probably due to the cold weather, uh, but that's to be expected. I expect this scooter to last at least a few thousand kilometers. I, my guess would be 10,000 kilometers, but that's just a complete guess. Um, so for me, I'd probably ride this thing for at least a full year. Um, and then later on, I may graduate and into a like electric bicycle or something like that if I find I need more power. Um, that is one of the things I do wish that this scooter had more of is more power and more top speed because I don't like getting passed by cyclists. Uh, but you know, usually it's just the athletic cyclists that can really pass me on the road bikes. I still really love the fact that the uh, scooter has a built-in Bluetooth app uh, that allows me to keep track of the mileage, speed, and battery voltages, stuff like that. That the kind of stats I like to know. Um, that's the thing I worry about. If I do go into another type of electric vehicle, they won't have those type of uh, that type of application that will help me monitor these these uh, this type of data. But the biggest reason why I like riding the scooter to and from work every day is the main the fact that it saves me money. Um, I don't pay car insurance, I don't pay gas, and at my work now they charge like $100 for parking per month, so I find that quite ridiculous. And so yeah, it's mainly just the fact of saving money. So that's it for my 1000 kilometer review of the Xiaomi M365 electric scooter. Uh, if I have a playlist uh, that will be linked down below. Uh, bunch of videos all about the M365 scooter. Uh, if you have any questions you can just leave a comment down below. Uh, otherwise you can keep on watching. There's going to be a long video of me riding at night. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching.